The Three Little Pigs, a modern retelling of The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there were three brothers, Elix Peg, Branson Peg, and Sylvan Peg. The Peg brothers each wanted to have a house all to themselves, but there were too many to choose from. They didn't know which one to pick. Elix was too eager and too lazy to do any research on any house. He closed his eyes and pointed. That was his pick. He moved in as quickly as he could and partied all day and all night in his new home. Branson was also eager and also too lazy to do any research. He spun around and pointed to a random house. That was his pick. He moved in right away and partied all day and all night in his new home. Sylvan was not like his brothers. He took the time to research and understand which house would be best. He looked up records, explored locations, and even consulted his big ass frame. He was confident in which house to pick. One year later, a big real estate developer by the name of Tim Burrow Wolf made plans to tear down a bunch of houses to build luxury apartment buildings. He had a very big appetite for making lots of money. He was very good at it and was known as the Big Bad Wolf of real estate. Mr. Wolf knocked on Elix's door and made a low cash offer for his house. Elix rejected and told Mr. Wolf to get lost. Mr. Wolf was the kind of guy that did not take no for an answer. He pounded on the door and said, Mr. Peg, Mr. Peg, give up, give in. Not by the wheat thin crumbs on my chinny chin chin. I'll employ, then annoy, then tear your house down. Go away, Timber Wolf. Mr. Wolf kept his word. He employed a house researcher to dig up anything she could find to annoy Elix enough to move out. She found something very interesting. A few years ago, someone died in the house. They slipped on the bathtub while installing shower curtains. And then drowned in the toilet. The spirit was laid to rest, but Mr. Wolf was told if the spirit awakens, it would haunt all the toilets. He immediately contacted a ghost waker to make it all happen. One day, Elix went into the bathroom and encountered a ghost on the toilet. He freaked out and called his brother. Hello? Brother, my toilet is haunted. Your toilet is haunted? <laughs> Are you sure? Um, a little privacy in here? Can't you see I'm in the bathroom? Yes. So, did it say boo or poo? <laughs> the haunted toilets flushed randomly and frequently. They flushed when drinking from a cup. <coughs> they flushed when quickly looking up. They flushed when sitting in a chair. They flush when combing through thick hair. They flush when eating chips. They flush when shaking hips. They flush when opening doors. They flush when doing chores. All day, all night, it was flush, flush, flush. Even when playing poker, Flush! Elix was going crazy and could no longer stand it. He called Mr. Wolf and accepted his low cash offer. He moved out into his brother's house and the house was torn down immediately. Mr. Wolf then approached Branson's house. He made a low cash offer and Branson quickly rejected and shut the door. Mr. Wolf was the kind of guy that did not take no for an answer. He pounded on the door and said, Mr. Peg, Mr. Peg, give up, give in. Not by the Oreo crumbs on my chinny chin chin. I'll employ, then annoy, then tear your house down. Be gone, Timberwolf. 
Mr. Wolf did some research on the house and discovered the house was located near a cat recording studio. He employed the studio to produce 1,000 cat songs. The first album was a Christmas album with songs such as We Wish You a Meowy Christmas. Meow, 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 meow. Here comes Santa Claus. Litter Drummer Boy. All day and all night, it was meow, purr, or hiss. It drove Branson crazy. Branson called Mr. Wolf and accepted his low cash offer. He moved out into his brother's house, and the house was torn down immediately. Mr. Wolf found his way to Sylvan's house. He rang the doorbell and made a low cash offer. Sylvan quickly rejected and slammed the door. Mr. Wolf was the kind of guy that did not take no for an answer. He pounded on the door and said, Mr. Peg, Mr. Peg, give up, give in. Not by the cracker crumbs on my chinny chin chin. I employ, then annoy, then tear your house down. Get off my property, Timberwolf. Mr. Wolf employed a house researcher to dig up anything they could find on the house. There was nothing to dig up. The house was perfect. Mr. Wolf tried to annoy the brothers to get them out, but he was unsuccessful. Sylvan did his own research and found Mr. Wolf hadn't paid his taxes in like 10 years. He alerted the authorities and they caught the big bad wolf of real estate. The Peg brothers no longer had to worry about their house getting torn down. Sylvan concluded, This house was a good pick. Moral of the story. If you do something wrong, make sure you hide it very well. And if you get caught, make sure you run really fast. Oh yeah, failure is a part of success. The more you fail, the more likely you are to succeed. Or whatever. You kidding or are you four wheel?